hi guys um i hope everybody is doing well it's a beautiful day at least where i'm at the sun is shining the breeze is blowing on its hot anyway folks um i'm gonna do some um festival request for some festival and i am gonna do it um jamaican ilshire style i you know try to get it that close so what is in tell is um two cups of all-purpose flour a quarter a third cup of sugar i might reduce that a bit um we'll see um because everybody's trying to cut down on sugar but um okay and um um a quarter cup of cornmeal a half a teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of baking powder no baking soda and one and a half cup of water and that water is dependent on much you're gonna need because this is not, um when you do um festival you're not gonna need it out like when you're doing dumpling so the dough have to be on the moist side and it will be left to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes so okay uh, so guys i have um two cups of um i have the two cups of flour already and i'm gonna be needing um and as i said i'm going from ilshire recipe so um as close as possible so i have and you're going to be using ice cold water so if you have some water make sure it's very cold so i have two cups of flour here already and i'm going to be needing a third cup of um cornmeal uh, a quarter cup of cornmeal yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what really gives it that you know so we're gonna have a third cup of cornmeal and, and this is um yellow cornmeal Okay, so, and that's a third cup of cornmeal there, folks. Um, and I'm just going to be doing it. I know you can have it with escabeach, fish, jerk, chicken, or whatever, but it requires is we're, we're just going to um, cook up some um, salt fish, some boneless salt fish, you know, with tomato, onion, and all of that. Okay, so right now the cornmeal is there. Um, we need a third cup of sugar, and I'm using brown sugar. I love to, you know, even though I have brown sugar, it's just basically um, molasses added to it, but it's what it is. So I'm using a third cup of brown sugar. Okay. And uh, for baking powder, I'll be using a tablespoon of baking powder. No baking soda, folks. None, none of that in this recipe. So, um, it's a tablespoon of baking powder. No, a teaspoon of baking soda, folks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A teaspoon of baking soda. Um, yeah, one teaspoon of baking powder. Baking. That's it. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> no baking soda in this one, folks. And I'm going to be using Himalayan salt. So you could use sea salt. You could use just your regular salt. But, you know, um, I love Himalayan salt. I have a lot of good um, stuff in there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be using that. So it's a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using, as I say, Himalayan salt. Half a teaspoon. And that's the pink salt, okay. And I'm using a half a teaspoon, okay. And once it's done, folks, we have to um, let it sit, you know, let the um, baking powder do its thing. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this, wash my hands, and then we start kneading. Always um, <laughs> clean and still knead your flour, folks. And no long nails because in those up in those nails, just about anything can be up there. And um, especially if you're doing it for not just you alone for other people, you wanna have a hygiene where you have um, you know your hands are clean and short nails. If I would say if your nails are short, then you use a fork to a certain extent. Put on a glove. Well, if that not gonna have long nails anyway, because it you know to burst through it, but uh. I've seen a lot of those long fingernails out there, folks, and now that's why I don't eat dumpling from anybody. I eat food from 
anybody else that I cook my own. Yeah. Okay, you just incorporate everything right now, folks. Um, the flour was sieve already, um, so it's all good. Um, the baking powder, you don't have to really sieve baking powder. But your flour, always sieve your flour, you know. Get out all those lumps and bumps, okay. So, folks, um, I am going to um, basically start. I'm going to use a spoon, add water, just to start. And like I said, folks, you, you don't want this to be kneaded like dumpling. Otherwise, um, the whole idea <coughs> is that the flour is going to get too stiff. And um, you know what? You, know, you want to have very light, eerie um, festival, you know? And this is from Jamaican, well, I will say Jamaican ill style because nobody can do it as because I've eaten um, festival already and it's it's like it's to die for. And when you watch the people do it, it's so simple. And, um, you know, so this is what I am trying to um, come. I make this several times this way. So, and it comes out beautiful. So, you know what? And it's not before, but. And this is from Ilshire, a place in Jamaica that time. Um, very popular for their food the festival is one of the big things so, so you see at this stage now folks then I'll try get my hands into it and because you're not it's, it's not gonna be a lot of kneading not gonna be a lot of kneading it's just um just to, just to make sure the flour all mixing together so I'm gonna go like this and it has to be on the moist side okay just like this See that folks yeah and when you we're gonna do it to the point that when we when I'm making it I don't have to add any flour on a cutting board or anything to rub it in so I'm just gonna make sure it's just at the right um, consistency so I'm just gonna add this, a, this I think I put a little bit too much water so I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour and so when you're ready to do it if you should just able to just do it and um I know I see some people put flour on the floor, the, the board, and um, yeah, because it's so soggy, so you have to put some flour. No, I just want to get it at the right, um, you know, that's how when I make it, because I make it several times before, and this is it. You know, you're not gonna like in, in any needed like kneading your flour, I just want to incorporate everything and let it get to like you know, that's another way to do it, I guess, if you like, um, to add um, flour on the cutting board and then um you just rub it in it and then you make it but i just like to get it done right and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes so it rises and in that space of time i'm just gonna cut up with my salt which is already soaked um in some lime water and um it's you know boil off once and um i'm just gonna cut up all the vegetable to go with it to cook it up and that's what just they want salt fish and um and festival i add a little bit too what too much water in the beginning so this is why and this is what you can do folks if you realize you had too much water just um add a little bit more flour and um get it to that stage that you want to get it to so when i leave it i'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes um let the flour, flour sit so um the gluten in it um you know do its thing you know so you know flour is loaded with gluten so this is a good consistency even though it looks very very sticky here folks that's this is how you want to get it you don't want to knead it no kneading because that's where you know it gets if the, the dough that thick and hard and um when you um fry it uh it's gonna be like boiled dumpling so okay folks so that's it and we're gonna leave it there to rest um for about um 15 to 20 minutes you know let the baking soda and everything like i said do its thing and um then we'll come back to it okay and um start making the dough so in this space of time i'm gonna just use that to get all the stuff for my to cook up my selfish so folks that's the festival they're gonna be leaving there to rise to the occasion and then we're gonna start frying them and you know a lot of people said um, 
um, to use, they use um, vegetable oil is the best thing because to use coconut oil will burn. No, I always use coconut oil in most of everything. And you have to know how to adjust the heat to coconut oil and I find the flavor of my coconut oil not beat that, you know. No vegetable oil beat that. You have to know how to use coconut oil. And I think a lot of people complain about it does not know how to cook with coconut oil. So I'm going to be using my extra virgin coconut oil. So folks, um, I'm going to put a damp towel over it and just let it um, stay and rise it. And when we come back on the other side, we're just going to start um, doing it. I'm just getting a, a towel uh, or a tea towel to put on it. So let me just wet this. Um, get a nice clean um, tea towel, folks. Don't use that one, the dirty one that you're using to do other stuff, okay? That's not very hygiene. And like I said, especially, you know, when well, you make it cooking for yourself, you don't do that. So I'm just wetting the towel and I'm um, on it. And when we come back, um, we'll just start. Um, so, folks, I'm just going to put a uh, wet right over it and leave it for now for 20 minutes. And after that, we'll start um, cooking. So, folks, I'll see you in a bit, okay? Hi guys, okay, um, the flower is risen, 20 minutes, and the oil has been heated, um, so this is basically the consistency here, folks, and how Ilshire make their festival, from what I know, they roll it like this, and then they stretch it out, it's stretched, it is stretched right out, okay? So by the time it's done, it's just airy and nice. So this is what we're going for, and, and not a very high heat, a very low heat. So this is what we're looking for, not big, the, the big puffy festival. Theirs are done, um, roll out like um, you do a big spinach, spinners and then you just stretch, you just keep stretching it. Use your finger and um, stretch it out. Okay, like that. And the eat, not a very hot, hot eat, you know. So just continue to do that. Roll, then stretch. Then stretch. Flatten it out. Yeah, like that. You don't want to awfully, and folks, you don't turn them over like consistently, just leave it because um, once you see the browning head on the side of it, you know that side is done, so you flip it over, okay? So this is Ilshire style. They're not going to be on the same height or thing, it doesn't matter, as long as they're all like flat and, you know, cook in that manner, put a little bit more heat. Yeah, so that's it. It's not, they don't have to all come out looking the same way but they need to be all stretched out like that okay and you roll and you stretch you just keep stretching them out like this so when they're done folks they're light and hairy and so beautiful you know so nice that's the Ilshire way so you just roll and then you just stretch, stretch, stretch like an elastic band and you put them in. That's it right there. And the flower feels so, um, you know, uh, like here because you leave it there to sit. That's the whole idea. You have to leave it to sit for a little while, you know, to get that consistency.
stretch. I just put a little piece of garlic as usual um, to flavor the oil. So I'll take that out in a few minutes. The stretch. Okay, this piece. Some of it's um, because I have it so moist. Like I said, you know, I just, if it's so moist, I just, just, you know, dip it in a little bit of flour. And this is the, but it's the most thing, important thing is to make sure it's moist. You know? Make sure it's moist. Stretch. Stretch. And I have all my stuff ready for my salt fish, folks. So, you know, everything going. Going okay. So once you see it brown on all the sides, then you know you flip it over. But don't continuously flip over back and forth. Now. Stretch it out. Some of it is a little bit sticky, so like I said, you don't have to have a cut a board out there to be rolling a lot of dough, just um, just to get it um to form. Okay. So see, you stretch it out, stretch it out. And you just stick it in. Okay. You got in there folks it's gonna be pretty soon time to flip and I have my avocado ready to go also I have a couple of ripe avocado I'll show you the salt fish um, and all the I'm just gonna be cooking up the salt fish with some bell peppers red green and gold rasta man style some tomato garlic some onions some green onions and some cucumber in it. The cucumber gives it such a nice flavor, folks. And some thyme and cilantro. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, see? You just flip it now. And you keep it on, yeah, it's because you know what? It will burn on the outside and it's not cooked on the inside. So this is why it's just, you know, I do it this slowly. Yeah. See? They're light as a feather, folks. Yeah. So the, the whole idea is to be on a minimum heat, you know, not maximum. And you just, once you see the, the corners are brown, you just flip them over. Yeah, just flip them over. And that little piece of garlic, just season the oil and give it a nice flavor. Just the same as you will do. Well, I use, I flavor my oil for a bit, almost everything I do, folks. Unless somebody come by me and they're, they're not into garlic, well, they're, it's tough. <laughs> tough for you because I love garlic and everything, so I just, and I'm not omit my whole garlic for anybody. Sorry to say. And when you take them out, you're just going to take them out, put them in a thing and just cover them over to keep them warm. anybody who don't like garlic folks um, and onions and I know people like that something wrong with you just gonna get a clean tea towel and um, start on a few more right now you just roll and stretch stretch and don't do too much folks because you know you want it to be um stretched out flat you know so don't make a big ball and folks this see those are ready you just leave it on one side to cook 
There you go. Flip that one over. Then I'm just going to start the process for for my salt fish. You just have to be cooked up. That's my AC going there folks, it's still hot and nice here in Toronto. Stick another one in. This is the process folks when you break them they're light as here and they don't have a lot of they're not have this doughy stuff like when you do fried dumpling and if you do your fried dumpling right folks you, your fried dumpling will come out good also so i'm gonna take that one back stretch folks stretch and right, stick it in and two cups um depending on what size you want you could get for a few people you know depending on, on what size you want to have them because i have 10 and this one i'm putting in 12 and i still have a few more but i'm just gonna do this and that's it i'm not gonna go through the whole thing with, with you guys um so because i don't want to make a long 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 thing not a lot leave though i think this could you know i just leave these while i cook up the soil fish Everything is ready for the salt fish and we're just gonna have some uh, what kind of tea should we have? Um I think I'll go for some um lemongrass tea or sour sap tea, sour sap leaf tea. I get the leaves and I dry them folks so I have a leaf for everything. Mango, I could have mango tea when I feel like it, I could have mint. And the thing about herbs, folks, always, you know, dry them. That's when you get the best effect from them. Um, from your herbs and um, for everything. Just dry it. Make sure it's dry. And that's when you get the best effect from it. Like, folks, they don't have to be perfect, but... Let me show you one already, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Oh, it's light as a feather. And you know when you stretch them folks and put them in they still sort of come back up so if you notice they you know they don't stay a long form but the whole idea is to get them um eerie and nice and that's it is the whole process that why they do them this way because they normally the um other ones would be all puffy you know Once they're brown, are you saw see the side brown? That's it. I think this will make about about three more years, four more, and that's it. And that's as they say, and that's that. And as I say, folks, if it gets too sticky, just put a little, you know, dip them in a little dry flour. And that's it. But it's better to have them sticky than um tight 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 folks i'm gonna flip these over 
some of them might look a little bit ill shaped but don't worry about that don't worry about that it's it's the texture we're looking for how light they are stretch stretch and you put in you roll up and then you stretch stretch it out stretch it out once they're brown on the, on, on the sides you just stick them in A little piece of garlic in it, 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 that aroma is so nice. So nice, folks. See, that's it. It's just flip them once on both sides if possible. I have one little one you leave here, folks, and um, I'm stretching and sticking it in. So, for two cups of flour, I got three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And um, you get 19, so that's good. That's very, very good. And you can double recipe, folks. Um, you know, that's the thing. You double it up. Yeah. Depends on how many you're going to make. So if you want more, you just add two more cups of flour. Then you add another um, teaspoon of baking powder and so on. This one looked like a dog bone. <laughs> Once the side is brown, you know they're done. So I'm going to eat up the pot now to do the, um, the saltfish. That's going to be another quick thing. Another cookie. And you have here Yellowshire Bakes um, Festival. And, and most people, some you know, like um, Escovish, Fresh Fisher, it's whatever you try to add jerk, jerk, it's big with jerk, with jerk chicken or jerk pork. Most person you go on in Jamaica and buy your jerk pork, you get your festival. Even dinner, it's, it, it's, um, it's served as, as on the side, like a side thing. You get your rice and peas and stuff and you have you see a couple of festival right there so this is a very popular um, Jamaican um, um, dish you know very popular but you know that's how it is in Jamaica nobody do it better than when it comes to cooking than we do right <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just a bit um... okay so these ones are done yeah and these ones just flip flip over once they're brown okay and they're good to go and that's it this one here is done also the dog bone one is down too like i said you don't want you don't want to overdo them then you know they get hard that's why you don't keep flipping them over and over if possible you know just let them cook on one side and you flip it over I'm just going to use some of the coconut oil to do this salt fish. Looks lovely guys. Golden. Nice. And they don't absorb a lot. I, I heard people said that they don't not going to use coconut oil to cook because coconut oil burn. You have to know. I'm using my um, cast iron um, pot and you know you know that return retain heat very good. But you just have to lower the stove. Uh, what I did when I put it on at first 
you put it on by itself it eat it you put in the oil then you once the oil get eaten then you we, um you just you know lower the heat and that's it And you know, I put them on the, the paper and you hardly see a lot of um, oil coming out of them because they're, you know, they're so um, air, a light inside, so there's not a lot of pot flour there to absorb all this oil. So that's the beauty of them. You know, like I said, folks, here it is. Look inside. You see how all it is? Yeah. That is Elshire um, way of doing, um, uh, you know. Like I've seen a lot of festival up there and um, some of them is so thick. Yeah, once I knew how to do this, this is how I, I always do it. And folks, right now, these are done. These are done. These are done. Just put these at the bottom of whatever little oil. Yeah, and when you're ready to warm them up, folks, don't do it for the microwave. Warm them up in a toaster oven or in your oven. Because if you warm them up in the, in the microwave, you will lose that effect, um, you know? warm them up in the oven or in the microwave or in the uh, in the, the toaster oven or your oven no microwave so right now folks i'm just gonna cook up this all fish see that takes what um not too long i don't know if i didn't check the time but um it wasn't a very long time right now I'm just doing the salt fish over there just putting a little of the oil from here because this is fresh oil so normally I don't reuse oil but that is fresh oil I just use just to fry so it's heated then I'm just gonna put everything in and the blink of the eye is done And folks, um, so folks, I'm just going to cover them right now with a towel. So, um, just going to cover them over to keep them warm. Okay. And I'll just put them out of the way. So right now, folks, this is my vegetable here for, um, scotch bonnet. You know the lingo already. I'm just going to. Because I don't want my um, thing to go off. And this is a salt fish here, about a, you know, um, I think about a pound of salt fish, okay? So, we're just going to be, and I added some um, cucumbers, because that gives this stuff a nice flavor. So, I have, I'm going to add in the onions and green onions right now. And... Uh, and I have an apple pepper here, but I might not use all of it. So I'll just add the gar um, onions and um, we'll get the flavor from that right now. Then I'll add the tomato, cucumber. The onions smell so good. I'm going to add right now the tomatoes, the cucumbers, everything else I just add in. Okay. Cucumber is so nice in your arm um, when you cook up salt and salt. Okay. And I just let that salt in a bit. I've done this so many times, but you know. And I, I had some um, fresh cilantro in there, so I'm going to add a little bit of oregano. Herb. A little bit of basil. Pick it up a notch. And these are all fresh herbs I made myself for some drying. And I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary. And I just let that start here. few all spice berries and 
and talk what is so nice in your sausage. I'll turn it off now. It's a little tip of cumin. Oh my gosh. That give it a nice flavor. Love that color, folks. Look at all that beautiful color. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said, I don't use maggi or anything like that in my stuff. I just put a little dry you. And um, it's good to go. I'm gonna have a little bit on some paprika. That gives it such a nice flavor. And anything you do, um, salty paprika gives it a nice flavor. Right, I'm just gonna add maybe some herb seasoning. Got you. All right, I'm just gonna add the codfish, and this is just fresh, beautiful cod. Nice and pretty. So I'm gonna just load it with a bit. Like I said, folks, I like to, even though I soak it in, um, I like to add a little bit of vinegar to it. I soak it in um, lemon juice when it was soaking, and I like to add like a tablespoon of vinegar to my to any fish. Then I just offset that with a little something, so a little sugar or some ketchup. I think I'm more likely because I'm not a big ketchup person. And you just let your salt is go. This would be nice with some banana and dumpling too, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's go to eat. Let me see if it need any, um, because it's all fish um, This is more value. Put a little bit of my cool running. Because the salt fish was soaked up, so it's not salty. So you can add a little herbs to a little stuff to it. Oh, and I'll add a little dried parsley because my green parsley is all done. So. A little dry parsley so this is the thing folks you have both season at home because I don't have the green right now I have my dried parsley so everything is just like backup you know and it's just as good and the parsley I also wash it dry it and um it's my own so right now I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet in folks and that is one of the most important thing and I'm adding all of this all of it we love eat and if you don't have eating your stuff, forget it. And I'm still gonna add me a little bit of jerk seasoning. That's how much we are. And my homemade jerk seasoning, folks. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in the store and buy. I used to before I start making my own. So I won't. So that's in it. Like I said, I don't like ketchup in a lot of my stuff, so I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to offset the, um, the vinegar. I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar, about a teaspoon, to just cut, you know, uh, the, the vinegar is very acidic, and you know, you want to just be um, chewing on all that acid. So I put about a teaspoon of sugar in it. Instead of the ketchup because um I don't like ketchup much in anything. When I use ketchup it's because um the recipe called for it but it's not a requirement. I'm gonna add just a little tip of water. That was thick and I think the cucumber give it that nice thick consistency. We want a little bit of sauce in it so And then I just bring back the, up the stove to uh, get that sauce. Um, yeah, want a little bit of sauce to dip your festival in, you know? Let me see the taste, folks. Wow. Does need a thing, folks. 
does not need a thing. So that's your stew of saltfish right there. As I say, good to go. It's delicious. And so I'll just turn the stove off. I'm going to go with our avocado. I don't know if I'm going to close it. We'll see. folks um this is hillshire festival right here skinny and nice just like what they do them at hillshire and look at that wow there you go With some nice cook up salt fish, codfish, the real thing, codfish, with a um, cucumbers and tomato and all of that good stuff. Give some color red, green, and yellow, green, green and gold. And as they say, folks, it don't get no better than this. And for the last, where is my... Here. Oh, this beer is a good one, folks. <laughs> don't disappoint me. And these are small avocado, folks, so... This one don't look too bad, folks, so. <laughs> Funny or not, this is six and I have three left, and so far they all turn out to be exceptionally not too bad. But after time, sometimes I only get one out of the, out of the six of them, folks. And I have to cut them in such a, in such a way. So. So folks, um, that is Festival Saltfish. That's the rest of it beside it there. Festival Saltfish and some avocado. Ilshire sa um, style, folks. Mmm. Okay. It is a saltfish. Mmm. Folks. All I need is a nice cup of coffee. Maybe I go to coffee for today. Okay? I drink, um, I was gonna do both, but mmm. Folks, try it. And I hope you enjoy it. Mmm, another piece of saltfish. Piece of pepper. Mmm. Well, this festival are wicked. So, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm big up to everybody. Big up to um. You should go to my channel, folks, to see my my buddy um soldier doing so much work on it for me. Go over there and check it out at Empress G. And if you ever want to get stuff done to your channel, just leave a link and I'll connect you to Soldier back of yard. Okay. So, folks, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I haven't gone into Jamie Wood um, to, um, for the past two days, so I don't know 
what the count is so please guys go over and give them 60,000 they were he was at 58,000 please go and give him 50,000 okay folks I'm um, 60,000 and on and up um you know because I'm Richard too Richard is at 134 right now thousand go give him some strength also on so Janelis is at 1,000 something and they're doing such a good job um go big up the channel give them some love show them some love on um, public go over to his channel too and show him some love he's on tour right now um you know folks and um big up to everybody and uh, so folks take it easy and have a good day and i'm also mary mary and mellow down in florida my buddy deacon in manchester everybody have a great day i am gonna have me a nice cup of um coffee right now folks and enjoy my uh, festival so folks thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel appreciate it okay and have yourself a blessed day peace